Hi there, I'm Dr. Caitlin Butler Birmingham, naturopathic doctor, focused in sports medicine, aka Dr. K. Today we're going to be talking about acupressure. So a lot of people are afraid of needles, so acupuncture is not a valuable choice for them. And also it's not very convenient for on the go. So today when we're talking about acupressure, this is stuff that you can use in your everyday life at any time. So the first point that we will talk about is large intestine 4. So LI4 is found in this meaty part of your hand here. So what you do, what you can do is either pinch your hand like this and find the highest point or just right between the bones here and just pinch it like this and you can hold it for one to two minutes. That's all it'll really take. So large intestine four is the universal pain point. So if you have a headache or abdominal pain, joint pain, you can press this point and it should help ease that pain. The next point that we'll talk about is pericardium six, PC6. This point is located on the forearm. So if you consider elbow to wrist crease, that is 12 chun, which is the Chinese medicine measurement. So if this is 12, you divide by two, divide by two again. And then PC6 is two chun down. So if you divide the space by three, it's right here. The other way to do it is to pinch your hand together and you should see two tendons. Some people just have one, but if you do just have one, then it's just right beside it, like as if you had a second one. The other way to find it, which is a lot faster, is to place your three fingers across your wrist, and then where the third finger ends, that's where the point is. So PC6 is used for nausea, so it can be used in nausea of pregnancy, it can be used when you're feeling ill, it can be used for car sickness. The next points that we'll be talking about are heart four and five. So any points that are associated with the heart can be used for calming, um, but these two points in, in particular are used for stutter. So what you can do is, again, using that same 12 chun measurement, you divide in half, which is six, again in half, which is three, and then again in half, which is 1.5, which is where the heart points start near the wrist. So you have four, five, six, and seven is right at the wrist crease. So if you're aiming for hitting point four and five, if you use your thumb and line it up with the wrist crease, then right under that is heart four and five, and you can press those and you'll feel a tendon that's right beside where your thumb will hit. So you can use those in the moment for a stutter when you're just trying to get through a sentence. The next point is heart eight. So that point is found by making a light fist like this. That's where the fourth finger hits the palm there. And what you can do is use this point um, when you're feeling nervous. So let's say you're doing some public speaking or you're recording a video like this. What you can do instead of twirling rings or wringing your hands is just make a light fist and either keep your hand like this with more pressure at the fourth finger or just use your second hand to press at that spot there. So that's heart eight used for calming. So the next point we're talking about is an mian, which is the Chinese name for this point. Um, the English name is sleep easy essentially. So how you find this point is what you do is you'll see behind your ear there's a bump here which is a bone and if you go if you follow the bone to the end and you go just behind it slightly and press right there that's where anmian is located the other way to find it is line up with your tragus make a straight line back and then right behind your ear you feel that bone and then just keep going back until it ends and then slide down and again you're right where anmian is so what you can do if you can't sleep is just when you're laying there, press on these two points because all of the points we've talked about so far are on both sides of the body. So press on these points 
and it should help you feel a little more sleepy. The next point is small intestine three. So the way that you find this point is again, make a light fist and then just under the pinky's knuckle is where small intestine three is located. So your palm and the back of your hand connect, they kind of form a line here. That is where the point is. So what you do for small intestine three is it's used for neck stiffness. So what you can do is press here and then what you can do is just move your neck around, make small circles, and it'll help ease that stiffness. So again, with this point, hold it for one to two minutes and do small movements with your neck. The next point we'll be talking about is lung seven. So the way you find this point is clasp your hands like this and you'll land on a little bump here, which is a bone. And just at the end of that bump is lung seven. So lung seven has a few uses, one of which is the universal sadness and grief point. But in this case, you can use it acutely just when you feel like you're coming down with a cold or you get a, a scratchy throat. So again, just clasp your hands and feel for that bump and it's right at the end of that. Two other points that you can use if you feel like you're coming down with something are lung one and lung two. So the way you find that is you follow the clavicle across, just follow it underneath, and then you'll fall into this kind of hole here. And that's the first, that the first point here is lung two. And then a thumb width below that is lung one. So you have lung one and two here, and you can press on those along with lung seven if you feel again like you're coming down with something. So now that we've covered these 10 acupressure points, so you can use them in your everyday life to help yourself feel better. Please see my description for my website and you can follow me on Twitter as well as contact me via my website naturopathicallyfit.com. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.